Hey guys, Chip here. I want to talk about a bug that's in versions 3.2 and 3.3 of Blender that Booleans actually seem to behave differently than they have before. And uh, I've created a little fix for it that I'll talk about here in a second. But let me just show you the problem. So if I shift D this, move this one here, and let's move another one like into here. And let's just give these different colors. You know, assign that one to green. Let's make this one a red kind of color and then we'll just use bull tools and we we'll subtract them now look what's going on so i'm gonna, I'm gonna subtract that one i'm gonna take this one and use bull tools and add it so now you can see we have this boolean object but the actual colors of the objects are already matching now what's more interesting is if i go into my modifiers for this and i turn it to fast for both of these and this is the behavior that originally has been in Blender since before version 3.2. We know it's a bug, it's been identified as a bug, but there's no one actually assigned to work on it. So I thought, what the heck, I better go ahead and just write a little add-on. And many of you already know that I have this add-on called KidOps Toggle VP Display, right? And so if you look at it, I've added this set bull and object mat to uh, control shift alt B. So let me show you a little bit of how that works. And it comes free with KidOps Free and it also comes free with KidOps Pro. So, and I'll update those uh, for you. And I'll also put a link to this add on in the description. First off, just, you know, so you can see how it works. If you use Control, Shift, Alt, and Z, you can actually go from wireframe into bounding box into a solid view. And why this is important is a lot of times your Boolean will be you know, in one of these different phase, phases and you just maybe want to get them into bounding box. Let's go back and I'm going to set these back to, uh, uh, set this back to exact. And now let's talk about how we fix this. You know, right now, if we look at these other objects, right, this one, like this one's green and this one here is a red mat and this of course is a battleship mat so if i come here and select the target object i'll just control alt shift b and it will basically set all of these to the same material so if i come over here and if i just select this one object and let's just go ahead and let's add that let's add this red you'll see that uh oh we're back to the thing so i just go to, again control shift b and we get them all set so it's a very simple one key press to get it done but i thought i'd share that with you so you may say well okay so that's great so how do i actually what if i want to make just this cutter on the inside let's say we want to make this one green well i'll go over here and we're going to add uh or we're going to change this to the green and that works. But the problem is that if we're coming in here and we're using modifiers that are set to fast, it doesn't work. So that's bizarre, right? Because now we have this one set to fast and it doesn't work. So how do we get that to work? Well, we use the same way that we've always used uh, to do this. And that is we go into the main object. We know that this one, let's see, see, so we know this one is set to green and shiny. We go to the main object material, we'll add a slot and we'll add a green shiny material. And now it doesn't matter if it's set to exact or fast. So there is a great process for doing this. It's just that uh, it's now quite a bit more convoluted until the Blender team assigns a developer and gets this thing fixed. Okay, while we're at it, let's just talk about the other feature of this particular add-on, and that's the ability to align vertices while in edit mode. Let me kind of show you what I'm talking about. So I'll select this object, I'll go to KidOps, and I'm gonna add this uh, insert from Design Magic, which is just basically gonna create a parting line, right? So I'll click here, and maybe let's just make it a little bigger, and let's kind of rotate it as we're adding it. Make it just a little bigger so it goes all the way through. There we go, something like this. So with that set, now let's go in here and let's look at this side view kind of go into to this to the wireframe view or actually we go to this view and we'll hit the tab button and we'll go into one right so if you can see we got these vertices here and here matter of fact it might be better to look at in here and here so i may take this vertice i may move it up here i may take this versus these two vertices and and uh, shift them over a little bit like this and then i may say well wait a minute i want to line these up so i can select these two or as many as i want and if I want to line them up in the Z direction, I just hit Control Alt Z. If I want to line them up in the Y direction, I Control Alt C. Not Y because it's too hard of a finger stretch. And and then of course in the X direction would be Control Alt X. We're not looking at things in the X direction right now, but it's, that's the way it works. It's real simple being able to align vertices as you're creating things. And one of the nice things about this, if I say Shift D, I can come over here and I can just say E E. 
E. I can just continue just to draw drag stuff with E. And when I'm done, I can just select them and you know align the ones that I want to be aligned. So uh, it's just a neat feature. That's again, this Kid Ops Toggle VP display. So anyway, I hope this helped. Thanks for watching. You can download this add-on from a link in the description and we'll see you online.